Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. ChatGPT 4.0, the latest release of OpenAI, has burst onto the scene with a promise of being better, faster, and most importantly, available to everyone. As the model that came straight after the insane GPT-4, this revolutionary language model has the potential to not only transform the way we interact with AI, but it could also potentially bring us closer to the ultimate goal of artificial general intelligence. But what exactly sets ChatGPT 4.0 apart from its previous models, and could it actually be the missing piece? in the AGI puzzle. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the workings of ChatGPT 4.0, explore its groundbreaking capabilities, and examine the potential implications for the future of AI. And if you haven't caught up to the news yet, ChatGPT 4.0 is the latest iteration of OpenAI's cutting edge language model. It's designed to push the boundaries of natural language processing and generation. Building upon the massive success of ChatGPT 4, ChatGPT 4.0 boasts significant improvements in speed, logical reasoning, coding capabilities, and most importantly, the ability to memorize conversations and keep data. This model has the potential to revolutionize the way we communicate with and utilize AI. One of the most exciting aspects of ChatGPT 4.0 is its accessibility, which means it will be available completely free to all users. So you no longer have to use the ChatGPT 3.5 model. You simply create an account with OpenAI, go to ChatGPT and select the 4.0 model. And some of the key features that GPT 4.0 has for free users would include enhanced intelligence compared to the previous models, vision capabilities as you can analyze images and PDFs, memory function for improved context retention, and access to custom GPTs and the GPT store. In fact, benchmark tests have shown that GPT-4.0 outperforms other leading AI models, including GPT-4, Claude, and Google's Gemini. The new model has set a new high score of 87% on the five-shot general knowledge question test and significantly outperforms other models in various other tests such as math. There is also the real-time voice conversation feature demonstrated by OpenAI, as this showcases the model's ability to respond to both voice and visual inputs, such as written equations or handwritten messages. However, this feature will initially be available only to paid users and will roll out in the coming weeks. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes, I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. Great job hailing that taxi. It looks like you're all set to go. Moving on, let's talk about the logical reasoning. After testing GPD 4.0s, I've noticed that the ability to tackle complex problems and navigate intricate scenarios is truly remarkable. Its enhanced logical reasoning capabilities allow it to break down issues, identify patterns, and propose innovative solutions. And this can be used in many different scenarios. Whether it's analyzing a legal case, troubleshooting a technical problem, or even helping you devise a strategic plan, GPD 4.0 approaches each challenge with a level of clarity and insight that was previously unattainable by AI systems. You can use it to consider multiple perspectives, weigh the pros and cons, and arrive at well-reasoned conclusions, making it an invaluable tool for decision makers across various industries. In my opinion, one of the most exciting ways to use GPD 4.0 is as a personal tutor and learning companion. I'm here with my son and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. It might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. For example, if you're studying for a complex exam, you can engage in a conversation with ChatGPT 4.0, asking it to explain difficult concepts, provide examples, and even generate practice questions. For instance, I'm going to ask it to explain the concept of thermodynamics and give me an example of how it applies to biological systems. And as you can see, it will respond with a clear, concise explanation and relevant examples. And this will help you grasp difficult concepts way better than any teacher could. Because ChatGPT is not going to yell at you if you don't understand something, it's not going to get bored and you can ask it as many questions as humanly possible. Thermodynamics is a branch of physics that deals with heat, work, 
and energy and how these quantities interact with matter. It consists of four main laws that describe how energy is transferred and transformed in a system. But the usefulness extends far beyond your academic pursuits, it can also be an invaluable tool for professionals in various fields. So if let's say that you're a software developer working on a complex product, you can use it for assistance with coding, debugging, and even brainstorming new ideas. So for example, if I ask, I'm trying to implement a machine learning algorithm for image recognition. Can you suggest an efficient approach and provide a sample code snippet? And then GPT-40 will analyze your request and generate a well-documented code sample, along with explanations of the key concepts involved. And if you're a creative professional, then you can use it as a powerful collaborator and a source of inspiration. I have previously used GPT-4 for my own writing. You can use it to bounce ideas off GPT-40, asking it to generate plot twists, character descriptions, or even entire scenes. You simply specify what kind of novel that you're writing. So I'm going to say I'm writing a mystery novel and I need a surprising plot twist for the climax. Can you suggest a few options that would be both unexpected and satisfying for the reader? And just look at all of these suggestions and creative ideas. So as you can see, the possibilities of using GPT-40 are virtually endless. The limit is essentially your imagination. Whether you're seeking knowledge, inspiration, or practical assistance, this tool is here to help. Next up, I want to shed light on one of the most exciting features of GPT-40, the scarily realistic and humane voice communication feature. If you're a paid user, then you can speak to ChatGPT 4.0 using the mobile application and it will respond with highly realistic responses, as if you're speaking to an actual person. Hey, I'm planning a trip to Amsterdam this weekend. Can you recommend some must-see attractions? When visiting Amsterdam, there are several must-see attractions and activities to make the most of your trip. 1. Rijksmuseum this iconic museum houses an extensive collection of Dutch art and history, including masterpieces by Rembrandt and Vermeer. Two, Van Gogh Museum. Dedicated to the works of Vincent Van Gogh, this museum offers an unparalleled insight into the life and art of one of the world's most famous painters. I would prefer if you did not show me museums and instead you showed me outdoor activities. Are there any good hiking trails or parks nearby? For outdoor activities in and around Amsterdam, here are some great options. 1. Vondel Park. This is Amsterdam's largest and most famous park, perfect for a leisurely walk, cycling, or having a picnic. It's a beautiful urban oasis with open green spaces, ponds, and gardens. 2. Amsterdam Sabas. Located on the outskirts of the city, this large forest park offers numerous hiking and biking trails, boating opportunities, and even a goat farm where you can interact with animals. 3. Uda Kirk and De Guyer Windmill So as you can see, this natural back and forth conversation with ChatGPT 4.0 feels just like talking to a knowledgeable friend who has first-hand experience with the destination. You can ask follow-up questions, get more details on specific recommendations, and even ask for tips on things like transportation, dining, and accommodations. And as you explore the city itself, you could even use this as a real-time guide, asking for directions, getting recommendations for nearby restaurants or cafes, or learning more about the history and culture of the places that you visit. This is just one example of how the voice communication feature of ChatGPT 4.0 can be used to make our daily lives easier, more efficient, and more enjoyable. As this technology continues to evolve and improve, we can expect to see even more innovative and valuable applications in fields like travel, education, personal finance, and beyond. In addition to all of this, the release of ChatGPT 4.0 has rekindled the conversation about AGI. AGI is considered the holy grail of AI research. It refers to the development of machines that can think, learn, and reason, just like humans do across a wide range of domains. Unlike the current narrow AI that we have, which is designed to excel at specific tasks, AGI would possess the ability to understand and apply knowledge in a way that is not limited to predefined scenarios. So as we think of the capabilities of ChatGPT 4.0, it's only natural to wonder, is this a significant step towards achieving AGI? While ChatGPT 4.0 represents a remarkable advancement in AI technology, it's essential to understand where we currently stand in the pursuit of AGI. And at present, even state-of-the-art AI systems like ChatGPT 4.0 are considered narrow AI. They have made impressive strides in specific areas such as natural language processing, image recognition, and problem solving, but they still lack the broad flexible intelligence that characterizes human cognition. However, the rapid advancements showcased by OpenAI suggest that we are moving closer to the realization of AGI. 
And these advancements suggest that ChatGPT 4.0 is bridging the gap between narrow AI and AGI. By demonstrating a higher level of cognitive function and the ability to handle diverse tasks, this model represents a significant milestone on the path towards more versatile and adaptable AI systems. While some experts express optimism viewing this as a substantial step towards AGI, Others remain cautious about overestimating its capabilities. Some experts argue that despite the impressive performance, ChatGPT 4.0 is still fundamentally a narrow AI system, relying on pattern recognition and statistical associations rather than true understanding or consciousness. As ChatGPT 4.0's responses are based on patterns in its training data, rather than deep cognitive processes, this lacks genuine understanding of the world and the ability to reason like us humans do. Additionally, there is the concerns about the potential for bias and ethical issues, as AI systems like ChatGPT 4.0 can inherit biases present in their training data, leading to biased or harmful outputs. To truly achieve AGI, future AI systems will need to address these limitations and make significant advancements in areas such as meta-learning, transfer learning, and the integration of multi-model inputs. Meta-learning, or the ability of an AI to learn how to learn, will be essential for achieving the adaptability and flexibility required for AGI. Transfer learning, on the other hand, which allows AI to apply knowledge gained in one domain to another, will enable more efficient and generalized learning. Furthermore, incorporating visual, auditory, and other sensory inputs more effectively will enhance AI's ability to understand and interact with the world in a more human-like manner. This integration of multimodal inputs will be crucial for developing AI systems that can navigate and make sense of the complex nature of human intelligence. ChatGPT 4.0's voice communication feature is a prime example of this multimodal integration. By allowing users to engage in natural conversational interactions, ChatGPT 4.0 demonstrates the potential for AI to understand and respond to human language in a more intuitive and human-like way. And as we explored in this video earlier, this feature opens up new possibilities for AI to assist and collaborate with humans in various domains, from personal assistance to education and even beyond. And with that, we will have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. As we've explored in this video, ChatGPT 4.0's voice communication feature allows for more natural and human-like interactions. But how do you feel about the increasing ability of AI systems to mimic human conversation and emotions? Is this a positive development or does it raise concerns about the blurring lines between human and machine intelligence? We're interested in knowing what you think. So go ahead and share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be interesting to watch, then also let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos that we make. Thank you once again for watching and see you guys in the next one.